Well, I'm kind of going through my house, room by room, and trying to get organized and clean out things. So I have like five jewelry boxes and a lot of stuff that I've had since I was young. So I thought, why not bring it here? I've heard about y'all in your commercials and I thought I'd give it a try. And I'm very pleased. The same principle we use to clean out our closets can be applied to our jewelry boxes, except in this case, it can earn you some money, as you just heard that lady say. So if you haven't worn that nugget ring in the shape of Texas <laughs> in a while, if you forgot about the promise ring some guy gave you in middle school and he's married to someone else right now, or you have the broken chains that you're always going to get fixed, get rid of it and make some cash. Please welcome Chad Clark with C.D. Clark & Company Gold Buyers to tell us how to clean up by cleaning out. Hi. Hey, thanks for having us on today. The first thing I got to say is that you are a storefront, so this is not one of those things where you bag up all your stuff, your valuables, stick it in an envelope and send it to somebody you don't even know. Exactly right. We are like a we don't sell anything. We're like a bank. We have private booths where people can come in and just let us estimate their items and make them an offer on the spot. Yeah, and you even uh, suggest that people get other estimates. Yeah, I always suggest that people get at least two quotes before they, they decide to sell their gold and then come see me and uh, let, let us do it. Let's show you how it's meant to be. You know, we, we when you buy precious items and jewelry, it's, it's a luxury experience, right? Yeah. Well, when you go to sell it, it's not electric experience except at C.D. Clark because we make it electric experience. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, when it comes to, to buying the gold, it's not just gold, but let's go through. Uh, this is a time when people also find out what they really have right, exactly. <laughs> because not all gold is the same. Exactly. You know, we see two things. We see some people are just, I've seen people cry and just cannot believe what, what a nugget bricks like this is worth. Uh -huh. And then I see some people say, you know, I paid so much for that. I can't believe that's all it's worth. So. Yeah. But most of the time, people are surprised. Yeah, because a lot of these things, for example, if something that was really in the 80s, yes. gold has gone up tremendously since then. So uh, a lot of people are getting what they paid for or much more. Much more. Yeah, we're at, we're at record highs in history right now with the price of gold this morning. It was 1180 an ounce. Wow. Okay. And a lot of people are not bringing stuff in because they feel like it's just really insignificant. They feel like they have to have these yeah. big, crazy pieces. But really, it adds up quickly. You mm. can get good yeah, money for yeah. little things. I mean, one, you say you're missing one earring hoop, you get in your jewelry box, start looking around, well, I lost the other one 10 years ago, what's this worth? Yeah. I mean, this one earring is worth at least $120. Wow. It's okay. One earring. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then uh, also finding out what kind of gold you have. Different huh. gold weight, carat weight is, is, is or carat mm -hmm. of gold is worth different amounts. Yes, ma'am. Well, it's the purity of gold, as 24 karat would be 100%, 12 karat would be 50%. Most people here in the U.S., we have 14 and, and 10. Mm -hmm. So, but, uh, and we do have some 18. Here's the 18 karat pile, 10 karat, and 14 karat pile. So the 18 karat would be obviously worth more, 24 mm -hmm. karat, oh, that's kind of nice right yeah, there. Yeah, well, you might like it. <laughs> yeah, but as you mentioned, you don't set, resell the stuff. Some we, people buy it to resell right, as merchandise. We don't have jewelry cases in our stores. We have uh, four, uh, five stores across the state of Texas. We're in, uh, just in malls, and we look like a bank and our biggest thing is we just buy and I don't sell back to the public we just kind of feel like we, we want to keep it clean and professional without trying to sell pre-owned jewelry yeah okay um, the other thing a lot of people do is they hang on to their stuff because they're looking at the market and they're trying yes. to see does it really pay to, to watch every time it goes up a few dollars because it really doesn't translate necessarily it doesn't translate uh, you know my, my mama always told me she was a Texan she said Chad a bird in a hand is better than two in the bush. Yes, there you go. <laughs> yeah, mama's right. Mama's right. Mama's right. All right. So focus on gold, but there's also silver, another precious metal, platinum. Yes. Yes, I buy uh, I buy large diamonds. I buy I bought a seven carat emerald cut diamond. We buy high end time pieces. Uh, you you name it. Silver is a big uh, a big thing. People bring me buckets of silver. Here's something that was an Indian piece that was manufactured by hand mm -hmm. that people some just didn't wear anymore, and we will melt this down to. Pure silver. Yeah. We, we, uh, we're a refiner and we will melt that all down. But with, since silver's not worth as much, right. people might want to consider keeping something or. If it's sentimental, like we were talking about earlier, yeah. uh, silver is $18 an ounce versus gold being $1,180 an ounce. So yeah. it translates. Yeah, like this this whole necklace here, if it were gold, would be worth several thousand. Yes, <laughs> maybe works out to be thirty or forty dollars, if that, at silver. Yeah, so. but thirty and forty dollars is good. Exactly. <laughs> uh, the, you mentioned uh, stones that you buy big diamonds and things, yes. but uh, can someone come in and perhaps have uh, gemstones or a diamond in a ring, but they want to keep, but they don't necessarily care for the setting? Yes. We will pull uh, the center stones, and uh, if someone wants to sell their mounting, like here's a here's a carat seventy diamond we we purchased, and we only purchased diamonds over one carat. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the smaller stone, because of the stuff going on in our economy, smaller stones just aren't worth as much. So right. bigger diamonds, one carat and up. Uh, and we will pull, if someone just wants to sell their gold, we will pull the smaller diamonds and return it to the customer. All right, and I see your testing kit here. You do all yes. that right in front of the mm -hmm. right in front of the customer. Exactly. Uh, the, the the thing is, you don't know what something's worth unless you know what you have. Yeah. And so we try to determine that right in front of you. That's why we suggest you go check a couple other places. I mean, uh, we 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 average ten thousand customers a year already in our stores, wow. and uh, having them come in and, and do a test right in front of them, nothing leaves your sight. Yeah, and leaving with your money at that moment. Right. We will write you a check on the spot. Uh, you are not new to Texas, but new to Houston. Tell us about your grand opening. Our grand opening is today at 3 o'clock in Willowbrook Mall. Uh, the first 10 customers today, I will, I will double my offer uh, wow. today at 3 o'clock. First 10 customers. So basically, uh, we'll do that today. And then we're opening at First Colony Mall next Wednesday. So we plan on many more stores, but the first two are in Houston very soon. Okay, can I be your first customer here? I got some stuff for you. <laughs> oh, wait, that's my wedding ring. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> Thank you very much for the tips. And honestly, somebody sitting home watching right now, if you've got some old jewelry, you can walk out with some cash today. You can make some money today. That's right. All right. You can get more information about C.D. Clark and Company by calling 281-890-5022, 281-890-5022, or go to cdclarkco.com.